Kong can't stop this on his own. He won't be alone. The last time those two met up, it was almost the end of Kong. They don't have to like each other. They just have to work together. Now I have seen everything. Hello everyone, welcome to another movie review. I just got done seeing Godzilla and Kong, The New Empire. Um, this is the fifth installment in the MonsterVerse, right? Uh, five movies. You had two Godzilla movies. You had the King Kong movie, you had the Godzilla vs. Kong, and then you had this one. So, five movies. Um, there's also the TV show on Apple Plus, which I haven't watched, uh, the Monarch show, which I think is supposed to be good, right? I haven't really heard anything about that. Um, before I get into this review, i got a little funny story to tell you guys that happened when I watched this movie. Um, so I went to a 6 o'clock showing here uh, today on Friday. Um, I was busy earlier in the day, I wasn't sure what time I was going to watch the movie at, so I just kind of... You know, about my tickets last last second, pretty much. There wasn't really any great seats left, to be honest. Um, so this particular showing I went to at a local theater here, um, I sat in the back row in the corner. Normally, I like to sit in the middle, obviously. You know, that's the best seat to sit in. But the only thing that was left, really, was, like, the back corner seat. So I, that's where I sat. Um, about an hour and a half into the movie, this guy walks in with his kid, and this is during a crucial part of the movie, by the way. Um, I forgot to turn on my other light, sorry. Um, <laughs> there, this is during an important scene in the movie. It's an action scene involving Godzilla and Kong. And um, I'm not going to say too much, so I don't want to spoil anything, obviously. But um, this guy walks in right in front of me, and the person that was sitting next to me, um, and he's got his, uh, his phone and he's got it, the f full brightness on, on his screen and he's got the flashlight going so he can see, you know, see where he's going and he's got his kid with him. Like I said, he's holding this huge thing of popcorn, whatever. And he, and he, he just goes right up to me, you know, as if I'm not watching a movie right now. Um, Hey, uh, excuse me. Uh, you, you guys are in our seats right now. You, you need to get, I'm sitting here and, uh, I'm, I bought the seat G, G, whatever, G eight, whatever the seat was. And I'm, I'm like, I'm looking at this guy like, um, excuse me? He didn't even say, uh, excuse me, you know, uh, I, I think you're in my seat, whatever. I'm sitting here like, um, I, we've been here for like an hour and a half watching this movie. Um, who are you? So he's showing me his phone and he's showing me his ticket. He's like, look, look, uh, this is my seat. This is, you're sitting in my seat. You, you two people right there, you're sitting in our seats. And on his ticket, it says 745. You heard me when I said I was at a six o'clock showing, correct? Um, <laughs> so I told the guy, um, this is a six o'clock showing, sir, and we've been here for an hour and a half or whatever it was. Um, I think I looked at my watch. It was like 7.52 or something like that. Because, you know, there's trailers also. Um, so in my head, I'm thinking, okay, this guy had a 7.45 showing. It's 7.52, so he thinks he's late. He doesn't realize what's on the screen right now is, you know, pretty much near the end of the movie already. So he thinks he's late. He's, oh, get out of our seats. You know, I'm trying to watch them. So I'm telling the guy, like, uh, this is this is a 6 o'clock showing. This is auditorium number uh, 5 or whatever. And he's like, oh, this is an auditorium 2? No, you jackass. This is auditorium number 5. So anyways, the guy's, oh, I'm sorry. And he leaves. <sighs> um, anyways, yeah. Um, you got to love people, man. Like, no courtesy, no, um, excuse me, I think you may be in our seats, I got here a little late, you know, nothing like that, you just, no, oh, you're in my seat, you, you, you people, you need to get out of here. Anyways, um, how dumb do you have to be to walk into the wrong, I mean, no offense to anybody watching this, if you've ever done that by mistake, but, um, seriously, man, you got your kid with you and you're acting like an asshole, um, yeah, I hope you're watching this video, by the way, because, you know, I doubt it, but, anyways, um, yeah. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And it, it kind of took me out of the movie, too, which is very annoying. Like I said, it was a it was a, an important scene. Um, I won't say what. I'll just say it takes place in Egypt. So when you go see the movie, you'll see what I mean. It involves Godzilla and Kong in Egypt, you know. Um, so that was very annoying. It took me out of the movie, man. Um, so... This movie is what you would expect. It's a bunch of monster action and a bunch of human characters you don't really care about. And 
that's it. Um, this one is not as good as the last one. The last one, I really enjoyed the last one. Um, honestly, out of this uh, series, I think Godzilla vs. Kong is probably my favorite just because of how well done the fights were. And the humans in that were fine. You know, I didn't dislike them, really. I, I actually liked the humans in that one. Um, this one, again, you get some of the same ones. You get Rebecca Hall, who's great in every movie I've ever seen her in. Um, you get the same little girl that's deaf and does the sign language and everything. Um, they're both good. I like both of them. You got uh, Brian Tyree Henry from the last one. Again, he's just sort of the comedic relief, you know. Um, he's he's just like whatever to me. And then you got this other guy in there. Um, yeah, this, this movie was super generic. I'll just say that. This movie was very generic. Um, compared to, like, the other ones, uh, the first Godzilla by Gareth Edwards is a very good movie. Uh, Brian Cranston, everybody loves to mention, he gives an excellent performance in that film. Um, the Godzilla you know, character in particular in that one is very well done and very menacing. Um, but that movie is very dark and, you know, the fight scenes with the other, um, Titans in that one, I guess, um, you know, are very short, but, um, yeah, of course, Godzilla King of the Monsters, which was the second one is the worst one. I feel like everybody agrees with that. Um, that one had a lot of stupidity in it and yeah, it, that one, I only watched it once, the second one. Um, it wasn't good. So, <laughs> and then, um, Kong Skull Island, um, has a stacked cast. I actually very much enjoy that one, especially, um, John C. Riley's character, um, and his arc, but the editing, that movie drives me crazy. The camera cuts like every two seconds. I, I hate the editing in, um, in Skull Island. Um, but still a fun movie, totally fun B movie. Um, and then Godzilla vs. Kong, of course. Was, it was probably my favorite one. So this one is probably my least favorite, aside from King of the Monsters. That's going to be at the very bottom. Um, this is probably this. So this would be the second worst one, but uh, not terrible though. Like this is totally a turn off your brain action movie. Um, I feel like my biggest issue with it though, there was a lot of buildup, and um, I felt like I said this recently with uh, the new Ghostbusters movie. There's a lot of buildup, but the payoff isn't really worth the build-up, I guess, um, because you got all this build-up towards the final fight, essentially, in the movie, and it's a good fight, don't get me wrong, it's just, I don't know, it wasn't anything special to me, you know what I mean, um, whereas the last one, I, you know, it was the first time you truly got to see Godzilla and Kong fight for real, like, you know, they made that old King Kong vs. Godzilla movie back in the day, which is incredibly cheesy, um, but, you know, the last one, was, you know, modern special effects, and there was a definitive winner, and you had the Mecha Godzilla thing. Um, the last one was great. This one, just totally, just okay, you know. I'm probably going to give this one a 7 out of 10, you know. It's nothing extraordinary. Um, I did like um, the Little Kong, I guess. I don't know if he's supposed to be the son of Kong. He's not actually King Kong's son, but I guess that's what he's supposed to represent. I guess he's like an adopted son. Um, the main villain in this movie is called the Scar King, and there's a lot of, um, lore with King Kong in this movie. Um, because in the last one, I felt like King Kong was essentially, like, the main character, and it's pretty much the same thing here again, um, with the Hollow Earth setting and all that stuff. You find a whole new, well, a new empire, that's what it's called. Um, there's this whole other species of Kongs, and they're ruled by this guy called the Scar King, and he's... He's pretty, I wouldn't say scary, um, but he is intimidating. Um, his introduction scene was pretty good. But I felt like he could have been done a little better. Like, I felt like he could have been done, like, more terrifying. I don't know. Um, there is a surprise in the movie, too, which I need to go back and look at a certain movie to be like, wait, um, I thought this was you know, no more. I don't know. I don't want to say too much, but you guys know what I mean if you saw the movie. Um, so I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Totally turn your brain off movie. I wasn't even sure if I was going to see it, to be honest, because I'm not a massive fan of this series, but I figured, you know what, I'll go check it out um, just for the monster action. You know, a lot of the reviews have been either negative to mixed, and I totally get it. I'm more on the mixed side. You know, I'm not going to say this movie sucked. Um... Would I watch it again? You know, I'm probably going to buy the, the 4K, obviously, and, you know, review it and stuff, but um, this one isn't really a, another one to rewatch. I guess. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, my second, uh, my second worst, I should say, 
uh, in the MonsterVerse. So if you were to rank all five movies, let me know in the comments. And if you want to include the TV show as well, uh, go ahead. Because, you know, I, I think that's a... I don't know how many episodes it was, but it was on Apple Plus or Apple TV Plus, whatever it's called. Um, so, yeah, um, that's really about it. I don't have anything else to say. I mean, special effects were good, you know. Um, the characters were just... You know, like I said, the the human character is very generic, you know. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what else they plan on doing with the series. I hope they do Jet Jaguar at some point. I'm wearing my Jet Jaguar shirt. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.